Hello and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the extinction map and today um, I want to get started building a base. I want to build one down here in the, the actual forest because it's, it's a lot safer from the um, from those meteor storms that you get. And uh, since I've been here I found it's actually very very quiet. I don't get that much much problem down here. I've, I've been quite fortunate I think. I mean I, I did uh, have a good explore of this this whole place um, but there was a video where I was going through this having a look around and uh, at the time I mean I, I did I did actually like this place um, but I, I ended up settling here mainly because of the the uh, the gatches that I found around here so I've been taming up some gatches around this particular area but what um, what I've been finding is I, I haven't really found anywhere that's more appealing to be honest because I mean this place I mean it's it's although it's got its defenses it's got like two points where you just need to block off um, it's actually got quite a a large amount of metal um, in a few different places like back there over there there's some over here and there's some just beyond that ramp um, I don't really want to cut that uh, metal resource off so I don't want to build right in the middle for instance um, and I want room for the dinos I mean normally what I would do is I'd just build one big uh, one big um, building one big structure uh, one for me for all my crafting and so on and um, kibble farm and then maybe one separate one for breeding and another one for the dinos but and then I'd somewhere out on the map where there was a large metal resource I'd have a um, a refining forge and um, I would just go backwards and forwards with like a Quetzal for instance or a Wyvern um, but this place is actually quite unique I found in that I mean I can build in this area I can build a pretty much what I want and I'm quite close to the metal resources so yeah so I'm I'm thinking I'm, I'm actually going to build here but uh, before we get started with that I mean if at any time you, you find yourself liking the video then uh, do please click that like button as it will help me out a great deal if you've got any comments or suggestions then do please post them and um, much appreciated and if you're new to the channel then uh, I mean do do please subscribe um, there's a little bell as well that you can click to uh, get notifications for when new content comes out but um, yeah I mean when I, when I look at this place it's nice it's a nice area it's a bit dark I must admit it's, uh, I mean, you look over areas like that and over there, they're, they're pretty light, but this one I'm, I'm drawn to mostly because of the, the size of the area. I've got a water source down there, and um, up here I've got my metal. But uh, the, the plan is, basically, is that I want to I want to section the place out. I want to try and put some defences up. So I've got a, a little area there between this rock outcropping here and that one there. I want to I want to put some uh, wooden spikes to stop anything wandering in. There's a, an entry point up there where I can put some over there. Back there, just where the uh, we saw the crystal over there, just a bit lower down. I want to put some spikes over there as well to stop anything wandering in. And then down here, between here and this cliff here, uh, hopefully then that will stop things wandering in. It won't stop anything like spawning and it's, it's so big an area I don't think uh, I'd stop anything spawning around here but um, the plan is basically I want to go out and get another angle though I want to get a new one and I'll bring that over here keep it over here round about here roughly around this area here I want to build um, a foundation I want to I want to like it's, it's a kind of reasonable size building if I can I want to put a an industrial forge in there leave enough room for an anchor lure to be kept there just to keep it safe. I mean they're usually quite good at uh, looking after themselves but I'll, I'll might do that, I might just keep it in the, in the little building there. Um, if I can I'll, I'll try and put in some of my uh, things, my crafting benches, things like a fabricator and um, the, uh, the smithy for instance. Um, the idea is then I should be able to like be able to produce my weapons and my ammo repair things all in one area without having to go do much, do much uh, trekking backwards and forwards. Down there I'm going to build an industrial cooker down here 
and I also want um, my fridges um, and I also want uh, a greenhouse down here so the idea is I'll be able to cook up my cook uh, my kibble down here in this particular area and keep it stored um, probably if I can I want to see if I can get a the, uh, the industrial grill in there as well and then in the middle around here I'll build a a large enclosure to keep the actual smaller dinos some of the mid-sized dinos that produce kibble I mean I haven't actually seen any any dinos ask for them uh, for these uh, for the, the typical type of um, kibble whilst I've been doing breeding but it doesn't necessarily mean none of them will want it um, so I still want to keep those the little ones protected the I mean the uh, the gatches out here the, the I mean, they're capable of uh, looking after themselves. To be honest, they're pretty big and strong. Like, but there are there are Therizinos wandering around. Um, the most annoying thing I'm finding more than anything is that when I get things like Dillos and Trudons um, wandering in, they'll they'll agitate uh, my little production factory down there because the the snow owls and the uh, the gatches are all on on neutral so at the moment to protect themselves, and it, everything just you know, all hell breaks loose and they end up getting scattered so things get messed up and I have to keep putting them back. I really want to be able to leave them on passive. Um, so hopefully by putting those fences out that should help. Uh, as I say, stop anything wandering in. And uh, if anything does spawn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get myself some um, some dire wolves. I like to have those spread out so I tend to breed up quite a few dire wolves. I'll keep them in close proximity to to these gatches and then um, if I leave them on aggressive they'll just basically just take care of anything that comes in I mean I'm not too fussed what comes in the area I just don't want them you know attacking the gatches so I'd rather leave them on uh, on aggressive and uh, I might be able to keep them contained a bit with the, the dino leash and that way they don't stray too far from their location so for instance if something comes in and I've got like some dino there uh, some dowels here I don't want them suddenly running like right the way all over to there, right to the edge for instance if I, um, I'd rather keep them contained and I think that's where that dino leash is going to come in really useful so yeah so I've got a, a few bases, uh, a few sort of like buildings to, to put down each will have its own particular purpose I'm not gonna I mean a normal normally what I would do is I'd have one big main base and I'd breed everything there but I think what I'll do with this one is, like for instance, out in the desert where the the velonosaurs are, I'm just going to keep that little that little base there, and I'll breed the um, velonosaurs there. And if I need to bring any anywhere, I'll start using those cryopods because once I get to the tech level, I'll be able to to produce more and be able to recharge them, for instance. And in the snow area, I might just like have a base there to to breed like dire wolves or um, snow owls, that sort of thing. So it's a bit of a change for what I would normally do because typically I'd have one central base and then probably a like a metal forge, uh, a metal um, gathering camp if you will. I'd normally set up like a little uh, enclosure where I'd keep an ankle or next to a, a metal uh, spawn, gather a load of metal using the ankle or and then go and pick it up with the uh, with like a quetzal, bring it all the way back to the uh, the base. All of the Dinos would be bred at the base, all of the kibble would be produced at that base, so that yeah, that would usually be the way I've done things. I'd have one base to start, like you know, typically like a thatch one, and or you know, go up to stone, and then I'll go out and build the major base. And here I'll I'll kind of just mix it up a bit, um, keep the breeding separate, um, try to keep the those sort of dinos bred in the areas they come from, maybe. But um. One thing I found with the gatches is that with these ones, I want, what I want to do with these is I want to start improving their crafting skills quite a lot. So what I've got is, I mean, I've got to gather quite a lot of resources, and these gatches are extremely good for that. They'll gather fibre, wood, thatch, stone, flint, all sorts of things. So I'm actually going to I'm going to reserve this area over here uh, for being able to do resource gathering, and they'll they'll actually burn up those resources and convert them into whatever materials you you want them to produce. So I'm not going to build anything out here, that what I'll do is every so often I'll come out here with a gacha, rip the place apart, um, that way I'll get some experience for that gacha, uh, gacha. 
I'll be able to increase its crafting skill, bring it back, and then I'll just rotate. But I'll probably keep the two highest ones, the ones with the highest crafting skill. I think I'll keep them together, and I'll want them a male and a female. Now, what I've done recently was I went out and I actually found this one here. She's a she's a 168 female that I found. Now, I started taming her up with uh, the owl pellets, um, and interestingly enough, the the actual taming efficiency still kept plummeting quite a lot, even though I, I was dropping quite a lot to begin with, but they only last for about like a minute and a half, I think it is. So I had to quickly pick them back up and I, I started dropping like three at a time just to keep up with it. But the, the taming efficiency still goes down very, very low. From what I've been looking at forums, uh, the forums seem to suggest maybe it's a case of they do actually prefer element instead of actual... Um, Oh, is that a trude on or a, a comp? Um, according to the wiki, it seems they prefer the owl pellets over the element, but it actually might be that they actually prefer the element. But the interesting thing I found is she's a 168 female, and when I got her, she had 130 crafting skill. Now, what I found is when I bred these two together, um, you notice there's a big there's a, there's a big bit of a difference between the levels. I mean, Gavin here, he was 168 when I got him, and his his taming efficiency tanked. I wasn't aware at the time of the mechanic where they just literally shovel all this food in that you drop. There's no like delay between the first feed and the next feed and the next feed. There's no delay at all, so you have to keep up with them. And um, so I mean, I'd given him something to eat, and his taming efficiency suddenly tanked because. Um, it took me a while to go back to a. I can't remember who I had at the time. I had some dino with me, and they were carrying all the all the resources. Um, so there was quite a gap between his first feed and his second feed, and his his taming efficiency completely tanked after that. But the interesting thing is, I'm absolutely certain that his taming of his um, his crafting skill was 130 thereabouts when I got him, because I've been looking back on the videos and. Uh, Gail here. I think she was about a 96 when I got her, and her crafting skill was about 119. So, Gavin, he must have had at least 130 when I got him, or thereabouts, because um, when I breed these two together, sometimes I'll get a baby that's got a crafting skill of 130. So I'm, I'm starting to wonder whether there's any benefit in actually giving these things um, things like um, owl pellets or element or what have you because I don't think it has an impact on the crafting skill I think they'll, they'll, come, they'll have a specific crafting skill and that's pretty much it um, maybe if I got like a 180 it would have a higher crafting skill so I think that the food that you give them I think all that does is just determine how quickly you can tame them I don't think it has an, an effect on the on the crafting skill I mean it's, I, I could be wrong I mean I haven't seen what his crafting skill specifically was the minute um, I tamed him because I mean I knocked him out and I couldn't access his inventory and um, I can't see what it was after that I just know that when he was about level 179 his crafting skill was 139 so mm, a bit difficult to say but I'm, 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 I'm starting to have doubts oh yeah something attacking the base anyway. I brought part of the reason I brought these things down here. I mean, they'll look after themselves, but they're oh, annoying. That's part of the reason why I want to fence the place up. Yeah, Trudons. Fortunately, fortunately, they haven't made their way, you know, too far into the base, but they're starting to get annoying, and that's why I want to get this base built. But anyway, I mean, I'm. I am having my doubts as to what to feed these things now, because the key thing, as far as I can tell, is the crafting skill, and it's not in, it's not affected by imprinting. You can imprint uh, one of these gatches, and it has no impact whatsoever. They don't get a better crafting skill. I can I can improve it through leveling them. So the good thing is, while I've got this base, I can go out and like um, while I'm building this base, I can go out and start uh, gathering a lot of resources, and I can take advantage of that to to level these actual gatches up. But I think what I want to do is have a male and a female have got the highest crafting skill available. Use those as the main ones to 
to produce the quality loot. Um, I'll have some other ones dotted around that produce certain materials that I want, and um, I'll just use use certain ones at a certain time to actually go out and do the gathering because I can keep uh, quite a lot of stone, like in storage, for instance, and just feed them stone. I still don't think there's any major difference as to whether I give them stone to to create things or whether I give them metal for instance. I'll have to do a bit more experimenting because I only I only managed to get about like a gap of twelve you need, I needed a, a lot of snow pellets to um to keep these buffs going. Um but the the priority now is really to start putting these foundations in place. Um not the foundations rather the um uh, those spiked fences in place to start blocking this place off. Then I'll come back with a uh, an angle ore that I can use up uh, up on that ridge there to, to gather metal. I'll get my my uh, industrial forge and what have you going down there. Get my little kibble farm and greenhouse <laughs> over there, and then I can get started with looking into things like uh, what sort of kibble I can make. So I'm going to pause the video there. And I'll be back uh, once I start building. Well, I noticed a slight flaw in my plan while I was um, trying to gather resources, and that is that because I'm basically levelling up those um, gatches on crafting skill, the resource uh, levels aren't going up, obviously, the amount that they can harvest. So the problem is they're not uh, gathering enough stone and wood, for instance, so it's taking forever. So. I came back here to where uh, to get an ankle on. I've got one of those. It's um, nothing major. Just a, uh, I think it was just like a one. Well, he's leveled up to 161. I think he's level 108 or something when I found him. I came here because I found uh, there's a 150 beaver floating around here somewhere. Don't know where she is. I want to tame her. Yeah, there she. Oh, it's a male. I thought it was a female. But then I just spotted that that thing over there. Oh, 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 it's a 168 Argy. I've, I've got to have that. I've got to have a 168 Argentavis in my life. So, yeah, I'm going to have to um, get sidetracked a bit and see if I can uh, lure that. So, uh, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I finally managed to get this thing tamed and uh, back to base, but I've had no end of trouble. Um, I mean, this was a 168 when I found it, but I ended up with a taming effectiveness of 86%. Um, so he's only, I've only been able to get him up to 240, which uh, which sucks, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> it, I mean, it's it's nuts because I, I went out there and uh, I made a quick check to make sure that the trap was still intact. Um, that I had everything there and that I wasn't missing anything like uh, a spare pillar for instance. I went out there and um, it was just disastrous. There was there was a stego inside, there was two trikes around. Uh, actually I just better check that he's not following me. Yeah so there was uh, a stego, two trikes and they were absolutely trashing this trap. Uh, they, were, they were corrupted ones. They were handing out something like 300 23 damage roughly uh, that took out one pillar that destroy, uh, damaged the rest that destroyed most, most of the ceilings um, so I had Ozzy basically kill them off and then I had to rebuild the trap I came back to get the uh, lure of the Argentavis out and had a lot of problems with um, Tyrannodons attacking me on the way back and then when I got there there was some uh, little dillos were attacking the trap, so that was fun. So I had to, had to basically drop drop him off and take the dillos out. I then managed to pull him into the trap and um, bring him down. I surrounded him with um, with some with some spike walls just to be sure, because um, he was he was knocked out and ready to tame up. So I came back. For some strange reason, I thought I had some stego kibble, but I didn't. I didn't even have any prime jerk yet. I don't know what became of that. Um, so I went all the way back to get some prime meat, and things were still intact. So that was fine. So I went out, got some prime meat for him, 
Um, next thing I know, we were getting attacked by um, more things. So there was a, there was, I think it was a, a raptor ended up bouncing off the, the um, off one of the walls of the the spike fence walls. Uh, eventually, it died, but it took the actual fence out with it. Um, then I got started getting attacked by a, a pteranodon, so I had to, I had to basically set um, leave, leave Ozzy to, to, to deal with it. Um, while I kind of r rushed over to get some some food for this uh, um, RG. So at that time it had lost, it had, it had run out of prime meat and it was a case of it had, um, it was just a, a, a kind of, you know, the, the taming effectiveness of obviously nose dived a bit. So it dropped as low as 86% unfortunately. So I'm going to have to sort of like scour the wastelands and see if I can find Ozzy. Um, I haven't seen it recorded as he's he isn't being killed or anything, but he, I mean, he could be anywhere out here. So yeah, I mean, the, the plan was to build a base. Now, I got a bit just bit distracted going out looking for an ankle and uh, a beaver and uh, a deodigorous. I thought I was being extremely lucky by um, finding this trap, um, finding this 168 RG, because they're, they're normally quite low. Um, so that's really frustrating. Um, but it's, uh, it's still 168 is better than what I got. I mean, Ozzy's, um, I suppose he's, he's replaceable as such. Uh, but I'm going to tame him quite up. I, oh, there, is that, oh, there he is, he's up there. Oh, that's, that's good. At least I found him anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy, this. This is the one thing I don't like when you've got a, when you've got situations like this, it just ends up going round and round and round and, I think the I tend to find the owl tends to get like really damaged quite a lot. It doesn't. Um, it tends not to dish out much damage. It takes. It ends up taking more damage. The last time I had this problem, he was. Um, last time I had this issue, he was. He was in a right plight. He was. He was um, on barely any health at all. Had hardly any health left at all on them, the poor, uh, poor owl. And um, yeah, I've, I've run out of food because I, I literally, I mean, because I had no idea where he went. I mean, I've ran all the way back. I didn't have a saddle with me. I mean, total noob. I didn't have a saddle with me. Um, so I, I've had to run all the way back across this wasteland. All the way back to uh, to to the base to get um, Sam here, uh, so that was quite. Uh, I'm quite pleased. At least I've got Ozzy back as well. It's a pity about the RG, but it's still a higher level. Uh, if I breed that with Abby, I should still be able to get a fairly decent level that I can uh, imprint. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, been a massive distraction. So now I've got to go off and uh, find myself a save that 150 beavers still there. Uh, fortunately, there's I think there's some deodorants running around here, so I may not necessarily have to go out all the way to the um, to the desert to get one. But one thing I have found is basically that I don't know if I'd particularly want to build in the wasteland now because the um, those corrupted dinos will attack it, and they, they don't do that much damage to to you, to you. But for some reason, they're dishing out a massive amount of damage to structures. I mean, they're, they're normally they wouldn't be able to damage um, stone. And uh, I mean, they really trash the place because you you think I mean I think some of those are like I think take like ten thousand help or something. Um, so they they tore through the uh, those structures. So yeah, so I think I'll have to move that trap and put it somewhere else. Really, um, I put it out there because of the um, that's where I found quite a lot of argies, but I've I've seen a few of them out here as well lately. So I think I might move it back into the city. Rather than risk it getting uh, damaged, because it's it was very difficult to um, get that RG tamed while I was having to fend off uh, raptors and dillos and uh, corrupted um, pteranodons as well, and there was also some stegos and trikes that I, I basically ended up just chasing some of those off. Um, Ozzy was losing a lot of health, having to having to kill a lot of them, so I ended up just dragging them away. Uh, which isn't really practical when you're trying to tame something up. 
and uh, the structure just wasn't going to last. So that's a uh, bit of an ups bit of an upswing and a bit of a downswing, I'd say there. But um, hopefully now I can get back to uh, getting my utility dinos and then uh, getting that base built. So catch you later. Well, I actually managed to find where my uh, prime jerky went to. It was um, it was here all along. <laughs> I'd been I'd been making some um, uh, some dodo kibble and dillo kibble. Um, I, I got so distracted and confused when I was out there um, trying to get this RG down that what I'd actually done was I'd I'd made all this dodo kibble. Uh, Dillo kibble rather for the um, for the ankle oil. I'll also use it for the beaver. Um, and then once I spotted that uh, that uh, argy, I came back here and started cooking up some stego eggs as well. So I've got like ten stego kibble here, and there's like that. that this is what this is where my prime meat jerky went to. Because I, I remember I'd actually um, cooked some prime meat jerky and I'd left it in the refrigerator. So honestly, I had no idea what became of it. Um, Totally threw me that. Um, actually, these are. I think I need some uh, citronol for this, don't I? I think the citronol must have. Uh, it must have um, spoiled. Yes, yeah, so that's going to take a bit of a while to, to cook that, but at least that mean, means I've got some some uh, some dillo kibble here. That's frustrating, that because I mean. I went out to, uh, to get some prime meat, so I got a good chunk of prime meat for this thing. And uh, then I went and got, um, I, w I went back to it, fed it, and I went up back out and killed some more brontos and then um, meant to come back and give it the uh, the rest of the prime meat, but it, by then it had, uh, by then I got attacked, so it never got its last feed. So this one's at least down. So I'll give this the, uh, the Dillo Kibble. Ah, well that's interesting. I could have sworn it wanted Dillo Kibble. Hmm. Oh well, I think this is going to take a... Either I've given it the wrong Kibble, in which case it's going to take a heck of a long time, or it's because of the, uh, the taming settings I've got, because I've got them set for, uh, for the Volonaso. Well, at least I've managed to get myself. I mean, I'm not really too bothered about this thing, to be honest. I just needed to be able to go out and gather a lot of wood. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to take a while. If that was 0.7%. That's going to take a hell of a long time. I get, I get the impression I might have uh, given it the wrong food. Let's see what it drops down to. It'll probably drop down to about... Um, It'll either drop to about 59.50. Oh, there you go. Yes, that's it's. Uh, it mustn't be Dillo. I could have sworn it was Dillo kibble. Well, anyway, this is going to take a while to tame up. I mean, as I say, I'm not. I'm not too fussed. I just wanted a pretty high level. Um, I, d I normally don't do the max level ones. I mean, this one's 150. The max level on the servers, uh, 180. So this this one will definitely do anyway. And at least uh, at least I've got a decent high level RG now, so I can start breeding them. So um. I'll bring you back once I've got this uh, this one tamed up. Wow, this just took forever. I, f I forgot how long it was to tame these things. Um, I mean, I tamed it up with uh, with vegetables here, and um, I got I must have got a bit confused because the the dillo kibbles for the ankle and for the dodigerous because I, I also need a dodigerous. Um, oh, well, did you drop a pallet on oh, no, that's me? Um, yeah, so, you know, strength that just took forever and a day. That's why I don't normally so like go for like particularly like high level uh, dinos like that. Alright, I'll just put this back. Yeah, I'm so glad I got a an RG. Make catching those things much easier. As you go out to the uh, the beaver dams. The trouble was, I got one much earlier. Actually, I caught a, a beaver. Where was it down? Must have been just over there. There's a there's a 
pool over there. I managed to catch one over there. Uh, picked it up with the RG, brought it back. Um, and just dropped it in this trap here. And then I went over to the green obelisk to have a look and see if I could find a, a better one. Because that was only about level 80 or something. It was, it was, it's about the best I could find, so I went out looking to see if I could get a better one. Um, I didn't find one, came back and that one had despawned for some strange reason. It was just completely gone. I mean, I, couldn't, I, mean, I hadn't gone all that particularly far. I mean, the, um, the green beacon's the little corner of the city, so I'm not that particularly far, but this thing had just completely despawned, which was annoying. Right. Uh, right, you stay there, Barry Beaver. So you can feed off the trough. Right, so the next thing I need, I need a, I need to go and find a Dodigerous. I was going to go out to the, the desert, but um, when I was coming back over the desert, I mean, it was... I had to sort of like skirt around that, um, that sulphur area. I went around there and I was cut, making my way over through the city. I mean, I ran into, um, I think there's some saber tooths over there, oddly enough. I didn't, I'd never seen them in, in that area before. But I did notice there was some Dodigerous over there, so I'm going to go off and search for, for them next. Because um, it's a bit of a shame those gachas, they're very resourceful when it comes to resources. Uh, they're very, very good at, cat, uh, at uh, gathering up fibre to begin with. I mean, uh, I've, I've had a few of them out and they've managed to pull a lot of fibre from plants. But, uh, I mean, they will harvest stone, flint, wooden thatch, but not that much. So you'd obviously have to improve their melee damage. But, of course, I'm focusing on the, um, on the crafting skill at the moment. Because, I mean, so far I've got some, I've got some fairly reasonable armour. Uh, from the from the drops, the loot drops I'm getting. The only drawback is the um, obviously it's not very well suited. You uh, you overheat quite easily. So that's why I'm back in desert armor because over here it's well that's odd. We're about at about 20. Gets to about 40 odd I think in the in the wasteland. Um, yeah, you stay there. So right, I'm gonna head back out and I'm gonna start looking for a a Deodigerus then. Hmm. I only found one of them, one of these little Dodigeruses outside in the uh, the city. So I think what I'm going to do is, I found this one here, he's a 138, so I mean he'll do. I don't need anything major, at least now this time up. I've, I've got some, um, some Dillo Kibble, so that should be better for him. Uh, I'll just get myself some arrows. Oh no, 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 no. This is not what I need. No, 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 go, go away, Kentro. <laughs> if there's one thing I don't need, is a Kentro chasing after me. Can you, can you just go badge somebody else, will you? Where did it go? There you go. You, you jump over the edge. Pretend you're a lemming. Right, I think that thing's all right now. Yeah, so I mean, this one's a uh, level 138, so I think this one will do. I mean, I found a level 96. I haven't been looking particularly far, because um, I don't really need a, a massively high level one. Ooh, and I don't want uh, Ozzy the Owl there coming after it either. <laughs> I'm kind of reluctant to leave him on passive in case there's something out here that comes and takes a bite out of him. Wow, I hope I've just I just hope I've got enough uh, darts for this one. I used up most of the last ones on that uh, on that beaver. I mean that was what 150? So I went and made some more but I'll have to mine some more metal if I'm gonna have to make more darts. I mean, I've got enough arrows, so I might be able to. Uh, I might be able to use the arrows because the uh, they're pretty strong. These things. You're not going to give up yet. 
Seriously. Oh, might be changing his mind now. Don't go that way. Oh, fruit. <laughs> I heard that noise behind me. I thought I'd run into a blooming, um a rock golem or something. I was starting to panic big time there. And I'm thinking, no, not a rock golem. Wait. No, 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 don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't don't jump over the edge. Seriously, mate, don't do not jump off the edge. That's where the Kendra went to. No, 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 don't don't go this way. Run, run, run back, run back that way. Better yet, uh, fall over. Seriously, how many how many trunks do I need to give you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, he's really chewing up these trunks. He's only one one thirty eight. Come on. No. <laughs> oh man, no, 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 you go away. Well, you go away. I think that's only like a little level on that one. Oh wow, I'm getting much further and further away from Ozzy over there. Oh, finally. Oh no, 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 no. This is not what I need. I don't need one of those things, a blooming Velonosaur. Oh god. Oh, stupid. I don't mind getting chased by a low-level Dodicarus, uh, but the last thing I need is a Blumen Volona, so... Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see if I can at least get some of these um, up and then... Uh, at least I can keep that, that thing out of the way, hopefully. I don't think I'll do any harm there. Trouble is, I found those Velonosaurs that can see through them. Because um, I had that base in the yeah the city, and that got um, I'd, all I'd put up was was some um, some of these spikes outside of that place when I started to build it. I ended up um, sorry, not the, that one. This this camp here. I built this place with. Uh, with just spike walls to begin with, and then the um, I started getting problems with these Velonosaurs coming by, and they used to start attacking the the the, the actual well, they we were trying to attack the dinos inside. So I ended up putting this wall up. It's not quite high enough because I still get aggro from um, I still get occasional aggro from the. Um, Carnos, they can, they, can, they can be a pain. Well, I'll take these lot. I'll have a better chance with these, uh, clearing off the lunar, so. Right, I know it was over here. Somewhere. So I'm going to go and f find this, uh, Dodicarus wherever I left it. Because it wasn't too far. It wasn't too far from it. I should have made a note of the. Uh, oh, there's the, there's the Bolonosaur over there. I think. Or is it? No, that's a. It's a Carno. Ah, just too far away. I definitely. I love these Bolonosaurs. I, I really need to get around to, to uh, probably breeding them. Uh, getting some. Ones with their mutations. Oh, truth! Guys, 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 guys! Ow, 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 ow! Shine a light! That was painful. 
Right, so $64 million question is where did I leave this uh, this Dodigger? So I should, should have really made a note on the GPS of where I was at. Oh. Right, well I'll, uh, I guess I'm just going to have to start searching. It's out here somewhere, I know that. Oh no, 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 no! That was a level 180 I just killed. Oh no, that, that's, that's, that's humiliating. I just killed a level 180 Valona, so I should really have a look and check before I start killing things. I can't believe it, I've just tossed away a, what could have been a really good Valona, so... Oh, that's true. Oh well, never mind. At least I've got some uh, some kibble here. So this uh, oh was the wrong one. Put that one back. Pick this one up. Oh no 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 spider. It was a scorpion. <laughs> 138. Hopefully it didn't take a chunk out of this thing. One way to find out. Yeah, that's better. I mean, the ankle all went up. That was going up at a rate of about 25% of feed, so... Eh, it shouldn't take too long. I'll bring you back once I've uh, got this up. Okay, well, this is almost ready to uh, to get up. It's not got far to go now. There you go. Right then, going forward you'll be known as... Derek. You'll be Derek the Dodicorous. Yeah, it's dead useful having that kibble. I mean, it's... Um, it's also used for imprinting. So that's one of the reasons I, I started getting it fairly early on. The Dodo kibble and the... Um, Dillo Kibble. There's, uh, the one that the beaver needs is Gallimimus Kibble. I was just checking on the wiki and that's... Um, I don't have that yet. Uh, but it's something I'll have to get because I, I know I, when I did um, some of the other um, some of the other maps uh, when I started doing those I was under the impression you'd only be using like the Kibble for the dinosaurs that were on there but sometimes they do Ask for the uh, the original kibble from the island. I haven't seen that so far uh, with any of the dinos that I've been breeding, but it's always better to be safe than sorry, I feel. So at some point I'm going to have to get myself some Gallimimus. So basically now that I've got I've got a Dodicarus, I've got an Anklo, and I've got a Beaver. So to make my life easier, I'm going to pop these all into these uh, little cryopods. I could quite do with a you can get a there's a cryo fridge I think there's yeah you can get a cryo fridge but you need a tech replicator and to build the tech replicator I think you need something like a thousand was it a thousand um, no it's a hundred elements yeah a hundred elements still a lot hundred element and five thousand metal uh, all the more reason to, uh, to get this base going but um, I'll bring you back once I've got everybody back to the uh, to that underground forest. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen a dino uh, ill. So I think it mentions something on the uh, the cryopods about sickness. Um, I'm sure, I've seen something about it while I was using these things, but I mean, this one I think it just it's left unconscious for quite a while. So like two of them came out without a problem. So I've got uh, I've got an angle now and a, a beaver and uh, a dodigerous. So I'll use these two to to go out there and farm the trees and the stone and uh, Arthur here I'll, I'll use him up there to, to mine the metal. That's the first time I've seen a dino come out of these cryopods. It's the deal. It seems like you just can't use them for quite, uh, for quite a while because they're, uh, they're unconscious with cryo sickness. <laughs> it's true. But anyway, I managed to get all the fences put in, so these these things are all fenced off. I didn't have that much much of a problem gathering things like the wood and the uh, the fibre. 
uh, thatch, but um, stone was a real pain. I was taking, uh, I think it was it was Greta over there, uh, Gretel. Yeah, it was Gretel. It was the one I was taking out to to gather all the resources. It was just taking forever, so I, I got about this far. Um, putting down some foundation so I could clear the area out and then just make sure nothing spawns back in there. And, but I'm going to have to gather a lot, a lot of resources. Ooh, you've already popped, uh, popped something out right here, have you? See if you've got anything useful for me. Oh, that's not bad. Tag that with a rest. I think what I'll do is get a, um, a grinder and probably uh, grind a load of these things because I'll, I'll probably never be using them. I mean, I've got a few odds and ends. I mean, I've been getting um, flak armor and chitin. I think it was. Um, what did I get? What did I get in that one? Find it. Uh, that one. I mean, I've been getting things like assault rifles. I've got mastercraft bow. That's a that's a pretty good one, that Ascendant um, Assault Rifle. Just about double that one. I've uh, got a Mining Helmet, which I'll never really use, to be honest. Um, a Sword, yeah. I mean, I got this um, slightly better hatchet and a slightly better uh, crossbow. But hopefully I'll start getting some pretty useful things off these... Um, off these gatches. I'm going to keep... Uh, keep at it. Um, hopefully we'll start dropping some useful things like while I'm building the base out. But uh, that's all for this video. I mean I was expecting to be able to get some real progress on this base but all I've been able to do so far is to get the, the fences, you know, the the, um, the spiked fences put in so that I can better protect the area. Um, the next thing is I'll get the, uh, the farm down there built. I'll get a greenhouse built and put some crop plots. I'm going to leave my original farm where it is. I'm going to build a completely new one here. I want another little air, uh, little building down there to put in um, basically a, an industrial cooker. I'll probably go for a, um, a fridge as well. And a, an actual industrial grill as well. So that'll be like the cooking cooking area down there and I'm thinking I had, a, I had a bit of a change of plan actually I'm I'm now thinking of actually going back to aberration and learning the platform engram so I think I might extend that out with uh, platforms maybe that might be a bit interesting oh, that's handy I keep getting metal off her that's what I've done is I've, I've put her over there for now she's got a I think she's got a she's got like 145 for her crafting Governor is he's, he's now up to 165. I've, I've got them just um, eating uh, a load of fibre because uh, she harvested tons of the stuff. And in the meantime, I was just taking Gale out to, to do the, the rest of the resources so I could get her crafting skill higher. But yeah, I think in the next video I'll get round to probably building this uh, this base. Um, so that's it for this video. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, took a bit of a distraction there because the, obviously the plan was to build the base but I've had to go out and get all these ankylos and um, got a bit of, got a bit distracted uh, when I found that high level Argentavis as well but uh, yeah I mean if you do do like the video anything about it then just do please leave a like that'll help me out a great deal if you've got any comments or suggestions do please post them uh, really appreciate it and if you're new to the channel then do subscribe and uh, make sure to select the bell so that you get uh, notifications for when new content comes out. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next video, bye.